points. Has anybody ever heard of an impact versus effort grid? All right. So you too must be a consultant because what I've heard is if you can draw a two by two matrix, you too can be a consultant. That's the truth. Is that what I heard you say? <laughs> but it's true. You know, if you can simplify things down to a two by two matrix, and you can put, you see I've put impact on this left-hand side, and I've got effort across the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each one of those ideas that you've come up with, and we're going to say, is it easy to do and has a major improvement? If so, just do it, because it's easy to do. And you can get that immediate kind of win. You know, coming up with a budget. Making a list of the exact things that you need to buy. Those are the easy to do kind of things. All right, so number one category is anything that's easy to do and will have a major improvement. All right, number two. Number two is anything that's easy to do and may have a minor improvement. Now you may decide, hmm, do I really want to do anything that's easy to do and has a minor improvement. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe the payoff isn't worth it. So you may decide, maybe, maybe I'll do those. The third category is the major improvement difficult to do. These are the things that may take a little bit longer, but the payoff is worth it. If it's really worth doing, then you go ahead and plan for it. So that may take a little bit longer, but it's got a much higher payoff than something that may be easy to do, but not much of a payoff. Next, finally, the minor improvement. These are the things, you know, and sometimes you're coming up with ideas and you don't think anything's going to end in that fourth box. Well, I wouldn't have come up with it if it was just a tiny improvement and take a whole lot of work. But I find ideas that fall into this category all the time. So if you're going to have anything that falls into that fourth category, I say ditch it. 